Inspired by the rugged and mighty conditions of the nearby Rocky Mountains, the Colorado Avalanche will be on home ice tonight in Denver. Hi, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment, I'm Mike Emmerich. And tonight, even though it's a team sport and people are seated in the stands right now, thrilled to watch a team play another team, they are thinking about one particular player. It's hard not to think about this guy because he's so dominant on the ice. But what's it like to be him? Well, you know the responsibility, Doc, and that comes with a burden, so to speak. But when you talk to him, he certainly relishes in the role that he has. And whether you're a star player or a role player, you have to do two things. You have to accept and execute, and he's able to do it all regardless of the stage. Tarasenko's ability to execute is what separates him from a lot of players in this league, Doc. People know when he's on the ice. If they're in this building or watching at home, you've got to keep your eyes on him all the time because he has the ability to do something that a lot of players in this league can't. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Semyon Varlamov gets the start, a two-time Russian Olympian raised in the Washington Capitals system. That means lots of games in Hershey. Made a memorable save in the playoffs on Sidney Crosby before moving on to Colorado. Jake Allen grew up on the Canadian-U.S. border in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, near the state of Maine. His father was a high school teacher there and was his first coach. And the opening face-off is here. McKinnon's the starting center for Colorado. O'Reilly's out there to try to beat him for St. Louis. Snaps one. Save. Colorado's handling the puck at center. Takes a shot. Terrific shot, but a denial. Let's it go. Score! And the place goes nuts. Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. Colorado's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Colorado goal. Score Propelled to Edmonton. It's just him. What a job with the stick. And he shoots. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Drive it just like shootout. A solo rush. Oh, what a terrific save in close. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. The Maroon. Pass attempt to O'Reilly. Breakaway by himself. He shut down the breakaway with his stick. Moving along in neutral ice. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Gathered up by Schwartz. Leads that charge into the zone. Good save there. Pass comes to him from the crease. The Avs are skating it up at neutral ice. Made the save. Right winged to Perron. It's all on his shoulders. An outstanding save. He didn't go for the deep. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Period is 20 minutes. We're just past 10. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Shoots one. That puck was obstructed by a screen. That one is cleared. Looks back down, and what do we have, class? Icing. You have it. A+. plus. Barlamov's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance.
They won that battle in the docks. With a shot. Shoots. That shot came from right in front. Now that's a solid save. Trying to go to comfort. Smart recovery by Wilson. Puck loose now picked up. Snapping a pass to Schwartz. In all alone. In all alone. Turned on net. Save. Shot down the best guy the other team had. Moving it to Bohr. In with it now. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Pareko's trying to get from his own end to center. He's got this one, and they're after him. Great glove save. Just a remarkably desperate play by the goalkeeper keeps this one out. The Blues win the draw. Slid to Zadarov. Taken over again. Directing that one to McKinnon. Regathers it. He scores! on that snapshot. No way he's going to miss from the low slot. Uh, Enzo, that looks like something from your day, wasn't it? You beat him up over the stick side. You'd love that spot in the net. The goalie wasn't able to stop this one. And they've oh, taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Yeah, retreat, but they've got still some time and still some energy left in this period. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. They gain the zone. Great save. 20 minutes are in the books, and so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. The red light flashed twice, both for the same team. Two to nothing. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with great views of the action. Colorado's strength has been in goal scoring, and this one gave them a two-goal lead. That's the one they enjoy right now. We'll have more in a moment. Twenty minutes in the books. Twenty minutes ahead. Ed, so, what did you think of the first? St. Louis has been defending more than attacking so far in this game, but they've got two periods to turn it around. They'll need to get some possession and convert on their scoring chances if they want to get back in it. Strong wrister took care of that one. St. Louis motors ahead. Terrific fake out. Breakaway. Score. They're back to within one. Oh, he looked confident on that breakaway right before he scored. That looks like it almost went right through him, Edzo. Just above the pad, he's in the butterfly. It's on the low glove side. It's a save a goal he should make. The Blues are only one goal behind, so they've gotten themselves back into this game. Perhaps they can tie it before the end of the second. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. And he hatchets one. Save. Blues have it along. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Wonderful stop. Pitching it to McKinnon. Gains the zone. Deflected off the blocker. Let's go a wrist shot. He knew what was coming and he got right in its path. Puck is thrown to O'Reilly. Tremendous hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. 
pressure now. I'd say this game is one-on-one. -on -one. Save there. That one's to him from his goaltender. Skates it into the zone. Just a backhand. Got the save there. Way too slow at developing 2 on one That gives time for the goalie to get across to make an easy stop. The Blues with a face-off win. St. Louis has possession in the middle. Big chance here! Enormous save on a breakaway kingpin. Passing one off now to Kerfoot. Good place to shoot from. Good work there in goal. Really easy stop for the goaltender. Down in the butterfly, he's able to control that shot. The Blues with a clean win on the draw. Laid up that right side to Perron. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? Remarkable save. No sale on the old fake out. Hammers one. Score! He got iron with that shot. Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. Under nine minutes still to be skated. So far, four goals equally divided. They've got the draw. Score. Scored by number 29, Vince Dunn, assisted by number seven. Up the wing to Perron. Time of the goal, 11 minutes. And he fires. Oh, a save there. And freezes play for the whistle. St. Louis can't expect another save like the one we just saw. Their goaltender came up large to bail them out. Critical win where they need it. Made that work for him in goal. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding him those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. Good job on the draw. The Blues have it between the blue lines. On through the corner. Shoot. Stick to some. Colorado's got it in their own end, hoping for center. Let's it go. Oh, and he missed the net. The abs with possession in the neutral zone. A shot. That puck hit him on the way to the net. That puck left the zone, and can he beat him here? Breaks free. What a reaction save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. And the play is stopped on an icing call. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. They win the draw. Shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Last minute of play. Play stopped. That puck is just held. 
As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. Into the last minute of the second period. The Abs with a neutral zone possession along the way. Good save there. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. The Blues bench really got excited when they saw their goaltender make that amazing stop. Colorado's got another win. Shooting! Forty minutes have been played, some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Looking at the shots on goal through two periods here, 19 for the Blues and 14 for Colorado. When the home team wins, you win $10 off. St. Louis has gotten this game tied up. That's all that's necessary to know right now. They will begin the next period even. More in a moment. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game. Underway in the third period, this game is tied. And he is shooting. Save. Petrangelo's trying to work his way out of his own end. Nice tip of the pass. Steps across that line. Let's it go. That's a great save. Good solid poke check there. Oh my, what a hit. O'Reilly's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room. But he gets tagged and cut down on that rush. Fires. Score! He's got his second of the game. got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. Colorado's broken the tie here in the third period. Let's see what happens before time expires. The Blues with a center ice face-off win. Alone! And a save! Foley's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Fired the shot wide. Barry's trying for the neutral ice. The poke check worked. On to Perron. Shoots. Score! And this one is tied. Well, that certainly changes the complexion of the game. That tying goal has changed everything about this one. The Blues couldn't have picked a better time to get this game back even. They've had an advantage in time of possession, and there's still plenty of time left here in the third. And they take that neutral zone face off. And the net comes loose, so play is halt. Alex Petrangelo, time of the goal, 6 minutes, 57 seconds. Oh, I hated that. You'd get so close to the net. The puck's there, you're fighting for it, and all of a sudden the whistle's blown. A lot of times, you don't even notice, but it's because the net's come off its moorings. Colorado's prevailed on another face-off. 
steps in from the neutral zone. Got the blocker on that one. St. Louis in mid-ice skating along the side. Nice work by Schwartz. Great save. And he shoots one. Shot deflected. Gathered up again by Alex Petrangelo. This is an easy game to comment on because it's been nothing but goals, goals, goals. There's not been many saves to talk about. The goaltenders have had a difficult night defensively. They haven't had much help either as both teams are filling the net. Can start the attack going in the zone. It didn't take very long when Vladimir Tarasenko came to the St. Louis Blues that he was going to be a dynamic scorer. He's strong, thick, tough to move off the puck, and he has one of the most laser-like releases in the game. It's dumped in. Colorado's recoiling in the defensive zone. A neutral zone interception. Back in his defensive end to get it. Is able to move on in. Routine save, but a save. Great poke check. Over the glass, and the fans scramble for it, and we get the whistle. Johnson's a type of player that loves to get involved physically, and he did right in the middle of that huge collision. A little under three minutes left to go here in the third. A hockey game is a game of lead changes. This one now is even. Colorado's in the neutral zone along the way. That puck struck him in front. Brings it in for an attack. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. Open ice hits are hard to execute. If your timing's off just a little bit, you're going to miss them or end up taking a tripping penalty. The Blues skated up on the side. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. And he shoots. And a save. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Now it's directed to Steen. Colorado's along the wing at center ice. Save. Stick handling up the wing. Crosses that line. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Oh, what a save. Allen's forced into another great stop with the pressure all around. He's able to keep the game tied. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? The abs are at the wing in neutral ice. Wonderful save. Up that right side to O'Reilly. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. Over the line with options here. It has taken this long, and it will take longer. Overtime is coming up. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for Chen's goal was the last tying goal possible in this game because we're going to end it in overtime sometime in a moment. We have begun sudden death overtime. If no one scores in this next stretch, we'll be headed for a shootout. Got that pass in his own end. Smart recovery by Barry. Is it over? A shot. Score! And the overtime is finished. No greater feeling in sports. Exhausted but victorious. And this time in overtime. Goaltender hit.
had no chance stopping that puck with a quick release. Allen's been beat here. He thinks he's in decent position, but this puck just barely skims by him into the net. A fun game for us. We hope it was for you. That's our show. More games to come. If they match this one, they will be special. So long for now.